Just imagine transforming vast, arid deserts into lush green forests. It's not just a dream, it's a real-life mission called Desert Greening, and Africa is following the process, turning dry land into green forests. This process holds the power to address global water, energy, and food challenges while benefiting our planet. But how does it work, and what magic lies behind it? So let's dive into the video to learn how Africa is turning dry land into thriving green forests. Here we begin. To turn dry lands into green forests, the primary thing to do is to solve the problem, which is wasted rainwater. Rain comes down, but the land can't even take a sip. In many areas with damaged land, there's rain, but most of it just washes away. The hard, dry top layer of soil doesn't let the water sink in. Instead, it causes soil loss, erosion, and flooding downstream. So rain is there, but the land can't drink. It's like having a bottle of water next to you on a scorching day, but you can't even open your mouth to drink. But here's where Just Dig It steps in. They are a group from the Netherlands on a mission to combat global warming. They're focusing on areas like Kenya, Tanzania, and Ethiopia, where drought is turning the earth into dry landscapes. Well, Just Dig It is all about nature-based solutions that are effective and affordable. They work closely with local communities and partners to revive these barren lands. They use smart techniques like rainwater harvesting, tree restoration, and creating grass seed banks. Their goal is to inspire and educate farmers and herders in Africa, encouraging them to restore their own land. They found the solution to the problem, which is simply working with nature. Here's how they do it in a nutshell. They use techniques that suit the local environment to make the land hold rainwater. This prevents erosion and allows plants to grow. More plants mean more trees, better agriculture, and agroforestry. This attracts all kinds of wildlife, boosting biodiversity and water security. As we all know, plants and trees release moisture into the air, creating clouds and more rain. They are working on new root systems in the ground to make the soil absorb water better, spreading more vegetation. As vegetation spreads, the cycle of land revival keeps going. The soil quality improves, more vegetation grows, and more rain falls. The whole area comes to life. And by doing this on a large scale, Just Dig It creates hundreds of thousands of water buns, or as they like to call them, Earth Smiles. These are big areas of restored land placed in strategic spots and can cool down the regional climate. Now that's pretty cool. In Kenya, they have dug over 80,000 holes to combat drought. These holes help water penetrate the dry soil and also act like basins, collecting groundwater and rain and keeping the soil hydrated and fertile. So what's the result of this? More than 2,400 acres of land have been brought back to life. But it's not just about land and climate. Just Dig It has a special way of doing things. They don't show up with prepackaged solutions. Instead, they ask what's the problem, and then they dive in to help. They work hand-in-hand -hand with local communities and listen to what people have to say, making their projects truly sustainable. This is what sets Just Dig It apart in this incredible mission. This approach was beautifully summed up by Benson Leyen, the Amboseli Ecosystem Trust General Manager in Kenya. He said, just Dig It didn't bring a solution. They came and asked what the problem was and intervened. This truly reflects their grassroots style. They basically work by having a close collaboration with local communities. Before deciding on the best solutions for a specific area, Just Dig It works closely with the local communities. They consider social conditions, land use, climate, and soil conditions. Their goal is to create sustainable solutions that benefit not only the environment, but also the communities. This way, the locals are more likely to embrace these solutions for the long term. As Mr. Leian puts it, if Just Dig It leaves now and doesn't do anything, I can assure you that this is a concept that will be escalated further. It will be used further by the community because they believe in it, and it is within their thinking framework. In Tanzania, they have worked with the LEAD Foundation to train local farmers in a technique called tree covery, or kisiki hai, in Swahili. This method revives trees and supports the growth of new, natural sprouts. Moreover, Just Dig It has even incorporated ancient local techniques in some projects. This approach helps to get the locals on board and engaged in the process. Each location has its own set of challenges, and Just Dig It tailors its approach accordingly. 
This bottom-up, community-driven approach makes their projects not only environmentally sustainable, but also socially and economically beneficial for the people living in these areas. It's a win-win strategy that Just Dig It uses to ensure that dry land turns into green forests, bringing life back to the earth while helping communities thrive. So overall, the primary motive of the group Just Dig It's is that the earth is drying up and they are determined to reverse this trend in just 10 years. They emphasize the importance of keeping global temperatures from rising more than 2 degrees Celsius to prevent irreversible damage to our planet. The key message is clear. We must act now to save Mother Earth. What do you think of this amazing approach to turning dry lands into green forests? Comment below and subscribe for more.